Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. This is a reading for July 22nd, 2020 and it is for the sign of Libra. That being said, I would like you to please keep in mind that this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Please do take what resonates with you, what feels well with you and the rest of it, just leave it aside. Okay? If it doesn't feel like it fits well with you, then it most likely does not belong to you. So just let it be. Um, if however you do have any questions, and you would like to have some answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to show your encouragement and your support. And uh, I would be very, very grateful. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading and see what's going on. So I'm using an Oracle's Guide here. And um, I'm finishing off with a little heart and soul transformation card. So we're going to go with a little bit of the past, the present, the future, and see what we have for you. So I feel as though with your first card here, there's a lot of criticism going along into the past. This is criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So this card here is really about anything, um, anything thing from the past I feel as though maybe you were criticized a lot or maybe you were criticizing I'm not quite sure perhaps it was even going both ways here but um, this is did not bring you much happiness into the past and it's not going to bring you any into the future neither so this is about really being careful about criticizing and if ever you do um, you go down that path please try and transform your criticizing perhaps into more of a communication skill okay to try and find some answers other than you know like hitting with a nail on something because that's just not going to give anything at all so please Please be very, very uh, um, careful about this because I do feel that it did bring you a lot of unhappiness. Um, and then over here I have the card of um, the present here is life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you're going to be surprised where it leads you. So this is really about uh, every cycle in life. Everything has its cycles. Relationships have its cycles, friendships, families, just as the seasons, okay? So this is really about just going with the flow. Take every step that comes. If you have an obstacle, you know, jump over it. Find the correct solutions just go with the flow there's no point um, you know beating yourself beating yourself up over it or creating yourself extra challenges just go with whatever life has to face you and you're going to be um, you're going to be happier you're going to find that it's much easier to go through those challenges and you're going to find that you're going to find your answers better you're going to find your answers a little bit easier and everything is going to be more smooth so you will be more happy and then I have in the um, in the future here I have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve, deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So I do feel as though you are quite sad. Like um, some, I don't know if it's from this past relationship over here with the criticizing and all these cycles, but I, I do feel as though that you are you you feel like you don't deserve joy. You feel like from all the heart the heartache that you've got. It's like if somebody told you that you don't deserve to to receive love you don't reserve to have a relationship you don't deserve people to uh, respect you and you know what you really have to do here is just allow all negativity to go away and do not believe into it and you need to um you need to take all the positiveness in you, take that positive energy, believe in yourself, believe into everything that you can do right now for yourself that's going to make you happy, that's going to make you feel joyous, and that's going to uh, help your self-confidence. This is what I feel that you have to work on here into the future is you have to work on your self-confidence. You must love yourself before loving another or else your next relationships will have uh, flaws also. And then at the very end here I have as a card manifesting miracles. You're dream is soon going to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so I do feel as though um, all this work that you're going to do on yourself over here with introspection a little bit of meditation uh, finding out exactly what it is that you want working over the cycles moving on to the path um, getting your self-worth your self-confidence back I do believe that you are going to receive a there is going to be a relationship that is going to be entering your life within the next six months or so so you know a really good end 
ending to um, you know a, a difficult beginning over here but you're working over that so that is going really well so you know everything must have its beginning you're in it and you're on your way to the great path so what's really important is to know that right here within the next six months you're going to um, have a relationship come into your life and what I have as a, a card here for you, a little uh, card of love, life, and transformation, I have all is possible when your heartfelt vision is in alignment with your values. Believe in your dream, love, and breathe it, and let it feel your thoughts. But you must take action also. Work towards it a little each day until it becomes your primary action. Dreams are first envisaged... Uh, envisaged yes by then they must be built okay so you will soon succeed if you work at it so this is all about beginning dreaming and moving towards it so I do wish you to do that I do wish you to follow that path um, if you do have any questions please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I do wish you a wonderful journey to that new relationship that awaits you have a great day